Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody been? Um, it's been a few weeks. I do apologize for the delaying videos. Um, I had some things come up. Um, first and foremost, my phone had crashed. That's what I'm doing most of my um, videos off of. I'm gonna have to invest in the camera sooner rather than later, it seems like. Um, so my phone had crashed. I couldn't store any other videos, nothing else on this phone. And I ended up having to get a whole new phone, um, which was time for an upgrade anyway. Um, that happened. I left the West Coast. I ended up flying back home to the Northeast. And I spent about two weeks there. Getting me a new truck was difficult. While I was at home, I got sick too. So it was like all this stuff was happening. And then I was running around seeing family, friends. And I wanted to make sure that I knew where I was, you know, where I was going. And, you know, just wanted to get everything settled in before I started making videos again. So just for the record, my plans are still the same. Nothing has changed. Um, still going to the Philippines. It's going to be really, really soon, sooner rather than later. Um, I will give you guys an exact date very soon. Probably by next week, I'll have the exact date or at least the week that I'll be arriving in the Philippines. So... For those who've been hitting me up and seeing how I've been doing, I thank you very much for your, you know, generosity and, you know, just keeping in contact with me. Um, right now, I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. I asked my job not to send me back to the West Coast. It's driving out there, one, that's further away from home. And driving out there is a little bit more difficult. Finding places to park, truck stops, the schedule had me crazy. I was driving all night. This uh, schedule I'm on right now is going to have me, I'll be, be much better rested. I can make more content. Um, it's just better for me. It's better for me. I won't be driving as much, but I'll still be making the same amount, amount of money. So you can't beat that. Um, you know, working um, less hard and getting the same amount of money. So, but no, the topic of my video today that I was going to make a few weeks ago was my dealings with Filipinas so far, dating sites, the whole nine. Now, Based on what I've, you know, talked to other veterans who've been to the Philippines or those who live out there now, as well as other Filipinos, you know, Filipino men, um, the overwhelming advice that I've gotten on dealing with Filipinas is, is wait until you get out there. Wait until you get out there. Um, unfortunately for most of us, due to, you know, the geographic differences and then COVID shut things down for quite a bit of time, about two years, um, that wasn't an option. So most of us were talking to Filipinas online. Um, like I said, I began talking to them in um, Facebook dating groups, you know, um, stumbled into it by accident. As, as I said, said in other videos. Um, and I think I did Filipina um, Cupid um, for a few months, you know, and um, I've met one out here, but this was before I got into like the real journey journey. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. But for the most part, my dealings with Filipinas have been pretty positive. I will say that there have been some negatives, too. You know, there have been some negatives, too. Um, first and foremost, you have the stereotype that all Filipinas are gold diggers. Um, I'll say this from what I've learned and talked to other people and just from my experiences. I don't think that to be necessarily the case 100%. Now, a lot of them, yes, online, they have an agenda. They're looking to meet a foreigner. They're going to the extremes to find someone who's willing to either come out there or support them, send money. And a lot of times, um, if you don't send money, they'll go off to the next one. They'll block you. I mean, obviously, those ones make it pretty easy to know what they're about. And if a woman is going to block you because you won't send her money, well, I don't even have to you know, tell you what to do then, you know. Um, Anyone who, you know, she's already exposed her hand. She's played her card already. She's played her card. But there genuinely are women out there that, you know, are looking to meet someone to marry, fall in love with the whole night, you know. Um, on the groups, most of the women on the Facebook dating groups, yes, I will admit, a large number of them had that agenda of getting money. But I did meet some very good ones, though, too. You know, I met some very educated women women who ran their own businesses, women who were, you know, just, you know, um, stewardesses, nurses. Um, I haven't met a probation officer out there, you know, someone who was in law enforcement. I met a Filipina who was a cop. So um, the one who I met out here in America, this is a couple of years ago, a few years ago, I had found her online. Um, we started talking. She was a little older than me. Things seemed to go, um, you know, fairly well so far. 
And you know, in my, the back of my mind, I'm thinking, this is a beautiful woman, gorgeous, you know? Why is she single, you know? And I asked her that, why are you single? You know, you're pretty good looking, you know, you have a good career. And I want to say about two weeks into us talking, um, she told me that um, she's, you know, a hardcore Christian and that she's been ordained by God to hunt demons. And um, <laughs> I'm not trying to make fun of it for anyone out there who is very religious into Christianity or Islam, whatever your religion is. I commend that, you know, and there's nothing wrong. You know, I'm not here to knock anyone's religion. But for about a week after that, she just talked on and on and on and on about it. So I finally had to tell her, like, look, there's either two um, explanations for all this. One, you're a little baddie, a little crazy, you know, um, and you're thinking you're, this is all in your head. It's all in your head that demons are following you and hunting you and you have to take them out and they're having these weird experiences happen to you. That's one or two. And even worse, even worse, you're telling me the truth. Everything that you're saying is 100 percent real. And that's even scarier. That means that you really are being hunted by demons and anyone that you're close to. Um, I don't know the whole demon handbook, so don't ask me, but I. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be a part of that. So either way, I don't think this is a good recipe to start a relationship either way. And needless to say, we stopped talking soon after that, probably the very next day after that. That was probably the last time when I told her I just couldn't be, you know, I do believe in, you know, um, there is another side out there. So I couldn't take that chance. So, but yeah, based on what I've seen from most Filipinas, and this is just my own experiences. I know I have a lot to learn, and I know there's going to be some guys in the comments that check me, oh, you're wrong, and that's fine. If you disagree with me, I'm not an expert, and I welcome any and all advice. Um, I think going online is a good place to start. You know, you start to get an idea of what they want, what their needs are, you know, and you start to, you know, get, you know, develop genuine friendships, um, with these women, you know, um, I have friendships that are still, they're not romantic, all of them, but some of them are just strictly friendships. You know, you start to realize that in spite of the cultural differences, they are a lot like us. They're a lot like us, you know, and even the women who, in my personal opinion, even the women who are looking, you know, for, you know, an improvement of life. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that's what we have here in America. You know, we're looking for ways to improve our lives and to do better. And it's rough over there. Poverty is a real, real thing over there. Um, I have friends of mine who are over there right now, both Filipino and American, as well as English and, you know, other cultures. I've seen pictures. I've seen, you know, videos. And poverty is a real thing. And for most of us in the Western world, even the ones who grew up like myself, poor, you know, we've never experienced true, real, raw poverty. So I don't think these women are, I can't really blame them for being, you know, if you're desperate like that, you'll stoop to some lengths that, you know, would be considered shady by us. But let's be honest, if most of us were in those situations, what would we do, you know? But I really do feel that the majority of the women out there, from what I see, are looking for a man, you know, to fall in love with. You know what I mean? That's the... um you know, that's, I think, most women's dreams on this planet. Find a guy that really loves you, that's willing to take care of you, and the whole nine, you know? I think that's what any any woman wants, really, you know? Um, and us, you know, most of us are going over there. We're looking for a woman who's more, you know, for myself, woman who's more feminine. Um, I know we have this feminist movement here in America. That's not something I'm really into right now and i'm not saying that women aren't equal to men but i do feel that there are just some things that women do better you know naturally generally just like there are some things that men do better you know i think men are obviously more physical creatures and more physical work you know should be left to us you know i don't think that women should have to deal with that um i think that a man should be the backbone of a relationship a strong mature-minded wise man should be the backbone of a, of a relationship you know that's just my own personal opinion on that we'll go into that i'm sure later on i'm sure i'm gonna hear some comments people will hit me up in my inbox and oh you're wrong and which is fine you know i welcome all um different schools of thought so you know yeah i just think that right now for myself um filipino women are more geared to what i'm looking for at this stage of my life right now being in my mid-30s they are more geared to what i'm looking for in a wife and a long-term partner so you know, like, you know, like, like anything, you're going to have to kiss a few frogs before you find that princess, 
you know, but I think it's well worth it. And I would agree with my friends, you know, that it would probably be best to wait until you get over there if you're planning on getting over there. But if you can't wait like myself and you're a patient, you know, you know, it's, you know, the, the dating sites and the Facebook groups are a good place to start off at. Um, I would recommend the Facebook groups um, over the dating sites only because one, they're free. You know, you can join these Facebook groups for free. Um, you post a picture, um, add a few of them as friends and you're off to the races and you can start to see, you start to learn more about what part of the Philippines they're from. You, you start to realize that the Philippines has many different languages. There's different cultures inside this one country. And you start to learn a lot, like a wide array of things. So I would, I definitely would advise the Facebook groups. Um, we're going to see how wise I am when I get out there in a few months. But, um, for me, it's worked pretty good. And like I said, you know, just go in there, you know, don't let your feelings get involved. That's another thing I'd say. Um, you may be talking to a woman one day and out of nowhere, she just ghosts you or she blocks you, you know, for whatever reason, whatever, you know, just don't get your feelings too caught up and don't forget it's still only online. It's, this is just all, you know, all online. You don't really know this person until you actually get there and start spending quality time with them. So that's all for now. That was just my little vlog. I'm going to start posting a lot more content again. I apologize for the delay before. Um, but I'm back. I'm back. Um, and I will have a day soon from when I am arriving. So until then, you guys have a good day. Be safe. God bless.